Hi guys, this is an overview of a data entry form developed using Python, which is actually at the request of someone out there. So I just want to show you guys how this works. Okay, we can add another data, like you see, we have some data in there of Mario. Uh, we don't have Mario information here, so all we need to do is to click on Add and Display. And if we go right down here, then we should be able to see Mario's details there. Okay, okay, that's Mario's details. All right, and we can also we can also reset and enter some more data. You see, as soon as I reset, new reference number is added, though the date still remain the same. Registration date, if you have to change that, then you just change it to whatever you want it to be okay let's assume that's my registration date so for this next uh, uh, member let's say its name is Kingsley Kingsley Wymore right and that's address of Wymore telephone number and it's using driving license as this proof of ID member type annual member fees to be paid there all we then need to do is add YMOS details as you can see and click on dis display now let's search for YMO so let's come in here and just scroll right down there we go that's Kingsley YMO's details so guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna call it the end of this brief overview and you guys can always have a look at the complete tutorial on youtube hello guys and welcome to python tutorial of a data entering system this very system is at a request of this guy here his name is crosby wells and he would like me to create a data entry system that is similar to this one that I created in uh, Excel using VBA but you would like it to be in Python using Tikinta so that's my reply to him um, let's get started so I'm gonna I'm gonna exit out oh no just close it I don't want to save that and right the first thing i like to do is to import as follows so we're gonna say import from tikinta from tikinta we would like to import all of the libraries then the next thing i'm going to import would be import tikinta message box enter dot message box there we go and I will also import as follows there so now that I've imported all the libraries I intend to use this is for taking all of the GUI system that I need this is for the message box date and this is for my combo box random number and time so now let's start by creating our class so I'm going to call my class data entry form there and enter a semicolon there now I will then create a function or a method if you like so this function is going to be self comma root then I will give my system a name so I'm just going to call it set dot root paste that in here make sure it's indented and change this to dot root there we go and this set dot root is going to be known as root that's the name of my application and set dot root dot title. 
so that is my title and that's how you write a title so I'm gonna call it data entry form now let's define our geometry so set dot root dot geometry and that is I'm gonna make the geometry approximately 1350 that would be the width by let's go for 800 that would be the height plus 0 plus 0 and that is my coordinate there we go now let's say set dot root dot configure so what I'm trying to achieve now is just to configure the the back color or the background color so I'm just gonna say background equals I'm gonna set to for let's say Gainsborough yep that is correct there I have my background in place everything is in place so before I go any further I'm just going to run the behold system let's come right down here and just close it let's say if name okay column column equals main column column so make column yep there was just say root equals tk enter parenthesis now I'm going to say my application equals look at the name of my application so I'm just going to copy that equals data entry form and that is going to be a system in root that's in root dot main loop so the whole idea of this loop is for the system to go around there so that is it so i'm going to save it now let's save it so we'll get that out of the way so save it right inside this folder oh, let's just say data entry form there we go save there i'm going to just run it and let's see how the how the frame looks like so we're missing out a, com a column there and let's try it out again let's come up here let's run there we go and that is the frame there okay there I'm gonna close that so what I'm gonna do now is I will create my I'm gonna call that main frame Okay, this main frame is going to be using widget frame and widget frame is right inside root so I'm gonna copy save dot root just paste that in there and comma I'm going to enter a border so I'll make the size of the border approximately 10 and the width is going to be let's make it 1000 1350 uh, yeah that's all right and uh, I'll make the height I'll make that approximately 700 comma then BG make the background color I already have this background color already so I really don't need another background color so I'm going to just exit that and let's relief it I'm gonna make that rigid there and that is it so come right down here and just run this up so paste that and say dot grid enter semicolon so that's my frame created so inside this very frame I'm going to create three other frames so let's copy it it's according to how my excel one looks like so copy all of these and just and this is now going to be known as let's just call it top one top two and so on top one 
okay and this is going to be top two the next one will be top number two there we go and this one as well okay this will be three and this is two and two and this is one so I've created the inner frames now the inner frames I'm going to change the size of these to 1340 40 and 40 here as well so the other thing we need to do is I now need to change how it's all going to look like so before I can do that I'm going to specify where each of these will be so the top frame will be inside there and this will be inside main frame as well there we go and right here you see the height I'm going to change this to about 200 and I'll change this to let's make let's make this one 50 and the bottom one I'm going to make that 300 Okay, let me try it out. It should work this way. And there we go. You see that? One, two, and three. That is for the widget entry and a label. And this is going to be for button Y in here. I will have my text widget here. So that's good. Now that I have all of these, I also want some inner. I am going to just call that inner top frames. The inner top frames, I would like them to be inside each of these. So I'm going to copy this. You really don't need the inner top frame, but that will make it look much better. That's why I am creating the inner top frame. So I'm just going to call that inner top frame. Inner top frame one and so on. So inner top frame one is going to be inside top frame one. And this one will be top frame number two. And top frame three. There. And right here we just call this inner. Oh, one other thing is there's going to be some database involved in this as well. Okay, that is that done. Now, we need to reduce this. The width will be 1330, 1330. Okay, I will reduce the height of this to 280. I'll reduce the height of this to, let's go for 48, and this one will be 190. Come right in here, change that to 190. Right. I think that's my top screen down so I'm gonna come back in here and just run it and let's see how that's gonna look like oh it's not gonna look that good I think the inner top frame is too wide so I'm gonna reduce those to about five let's come here you see the the border around it I'm gonna make it five 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 now run and save and run there we go look at that that looks much better yeah I like that okay now let's add some widgets okay okay right underneath here I'm going to start by entering my let's add button let's start with the button so let's say btn add maybe add new something like that and um, button add new the widget that we need is known as button so this is how you create your own button using tick inter and this very button is going to be right inside inner frame number two there so inner frame number two comma i'm going to get it parted let's give it about y axis padding will be one and 
border around it let's make that around four and then the text on it we don't really need this but this is how you enter you define your text it's going to be black now the font equals depend on whatever font you want but i'm just going to search for area that is my font comma the size of the font is going to be about 16 and i'm going to make that bold there we go comma next thing i want to do is to define the width i'm going to make the width about 13 comma and the height you can just specify one or you can just leave out the height and a default height will be there for you then the text on it i'll just enter add new there okay then now uh, let's close that and just round it up i'm going to say dot grid is going to be right inside the rule is going to be rule zero and the column equals zero as well close that okay let's just say yeah let's get it packed i should have parked it before x axis so that's all there is to that one i'm gonna run it if that works fine then we just copy and paste now oh missed out something okay i copied i actually cut it off so let's that should be in a frame two is that in there and just change that to two and get it properly indented yeah so let's try that again have an error let's see what's the error about oh look at the spelling wrong spelling okay that's the right spelling let's copy that and just paste it right here okay try that again there we go that's my button there I uh, need approximately seven of those so i'm just gonna copy paste and change the text content around copy okay i have seven in there so we also need to get it indented so i'm gonna get that indent indented and get back to you guys as soon as i'm done with that okay those are all my buttons indented now i need to change the column so this one the first one is zero so the next one is going to be one two three four five and six there i haven't changed the name yet but let's run it and you see what i'm talking about there we go look at all my buttons in place all I just need to do now is to chat, start changing the names around. So this one is going to be maybe search button, exit, and so on. So the last one here is my search button. Change that to search. And the text content I need is right here. Change that to search. This one is going to be exit. And in here we change this to exit and so on guys but i'm gonna run it to see how these two changes made look like there we go okay i'm now going to speed up the other buttons okay all my buttons are taken care of let's just add a bit of space so that you guys can see the different buttons there we go i will now run it there 
all the bot buttons are in place now okay we need some widgets here and here as well all right okay the next thing i'd like to do now is i'm going to create i think i should do that first here i'm going to enter my i will enter a text a text right here and there should be a label that will display the headings so let's come right down here i'm gonna have to break this up so that it doesn't confuse anyone out there okay in here will be my the label and the text widget okay let's start with the word label first that's what the label okay in here I'm gonna call that uh, let's just call it self dot self dot label lbl lbl maybe label or whatever yeah label equals widget label and widget label itself is going to be right inside in a top frame three right comma and the font let's copy font paste it in here font we can make that about 10 system will be too big uh okay we get it padded as well uh, let's come down here get it padded we make that about six and what is y axis Padding for y axis, I'm going to make that about 10. Get rid of this. What else do I need to do? What about the text content to need? The text content to need, I need about 10 of those to be displayed. Okay, I'll start by saying text equals enter a quote. The first one is going to be known as reference. and that is reference number okay and reference after reference number we like you to have a tab the surname let's know let's go for first uh, first name first uh that will be first name okay this is how you write your tab this tab will not be displayed okay so that's fine another tab that is going to be surname and i'm gonna get it tab twice one two yeah then that's gonna be address after address maybe telephone number and so on so get that tab again right close this close that and let's start another one right underneath here so that there will be enough form so this is going to be registration number or registration date okay i presume you guys get the whole idea so i'm going to speed that up I only have about four more to enter all right that is how it looks so all i just need to do now is to run that up so come right down here dot so i need to enter my grid and that will be let's copy all of this dot grid and that's going to be column zero row zero column zero get rid of this and i'm just going to make it span um column span and go for about 17 i can always change that yeah that is that done right so run and see how that looks like we have an arrow let's go back in there what did i do wrong Maybe wrong spell it. 
there's an N missing here. There we go. Try it again. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Now we now need to create our. Oh, let's see. This seems to be too. It's kind of like overlapping. Okay. I will have a look. I think maybe one or two tabs need to be deleted. Okay, no problem. So let's come back in here and right underneath it, I'm going to now create the scroll bar. So the, with the scroll bar, we're going to get we, we just scroll bar. So let's say scroll bar equals scroll. Scroll bar and this widget scroll bar is going to be right inside this very one here. Copy paste. And right there, guys, I just had to speed this up because of time. Okay, now I'm gonna take care of this. So this is the scroll bar that will be to the right, and right here that is my list box okay so i'm going to run it to see how that looks like that's how it's looking now and now i have my text widget here with the headings but i do need to adjust this so come right down and just see the space that i have in here i'm going to just get rid of the space i think those are adding to the they adding to the data itself so i'm going to just do that okay yes yeah, well so there shouldn't be space i believe so let's run it and see how that's gonna look like there we go just like i said look at it it now looks much better so here i have my list box my title bar created using a label buttons that do nothing for now so we just need some other test widget up here then before we start to work with the database so for now i'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial see you guys shortly